All right, and uh, welcome students. My name is Oscar. Today we have um, the first class that we should have started with. Uh, so this is basically going to be a review um, in regards to what I teach you in class. Yes. So the first things we're going, the first two things we're going to make sure that we do um, uh, focus on is personal information and meeting people. Yes. So the first thing also, another thing that you have to focus on yourself is alphabet and numbers. So alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Minimum uh, on numbers, we have to go from 0 to 10. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, and also the vocabulary for the focus section uh, for personal information is name, address, and telephone number or phone number. Yes, so alphabet and numbers, you, had, you need to practice on your own. Ocupan practicarlos en su propio tiempo. So let's continue um, to the first section, which is what's your name? Here we have an example of the conversation for the question and answer. So the teacher is in front of the students and he's presenting um, personal information, name, address, telephone number, and from. So, excuse me class, can you help me? Please listen and no repeat. What's your name? My name is Maria. What's your name? My name is Maria. What's your address? My address is 235 Main Street. 235 Main Street. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Mexico City. Excuse me class, can you help me? Please listen and repeat. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Maria. What's your address? What's your address? My address. Sorry, repeat, yes. My address is 235 Main Street. My address is is 235 Main Street. What's your phone number? What's your phone number? My phone number is 74189's number. My phone number is 74189006. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Mexico City. Now you practice and I listen. Perfect. Let's continue. And right here on the section for noticing, under the teacher, right underneath his feet, right there, there's a what is the contraction for what is. Yes. What and what is. And the numbers 
two, three, five, or individually two, three, five, Main Street. And then the telephone number, make sure you go three by three usually, or two by two, 741-8906. Or it could have been 7418906. No, but usually it's 332. Now we have the questions underneath. Now I'm going to answer my questions so you can see how it's answered. Yes. Number one, what's your name? Well, Oscar. Muchos contestan Oscar, no en ese ejemplo. What's your name? Alejandro, María. Remember, it depends. Depende, ¿cómo te preguntan? En la manera que yo enseño, en, enfatizo, enfatizo con el excuse me, pardon me, y I'm sorry to bother you. Entonces, si fuera excuse me, what's your name? Oscar. What's your address? Privada Vizcaya 107. What's your phone number? 3323628875. Where are you from? O Lima. No, directo. Pero si estamos manejando el part of me, fuera oración completa. Lo que es correcto, es lo que se debe de hacer. Normalmente. What's your name? My name is Oscar. What's your address? My address is Privada Vizcaya 107. What's your phone number? My phone number is 3323628875 Where are you from? I'm from Colima. Or without contractions, I am from Colima. Make sure you answer and you practice this. Yes, this is the basic information regarding personal information. Yes, remember focusing on personal information. So let's continue after this. Um, some of the pronunciation that's correct, make sure you separate. Asegúrense separar eh, la parte de los verbos, como my name is Maria, no sería my name's Maria. No, lo que es contracción se aceptaría, pero es separarlo para que suene entornizado y correcto. My name is Maria. Yes. So on the first section up here, I'm going to ask you to listen and then you repeat it. Yes, aquí vamos a escucharme y repetir. My name is Maria. Excuse me, class. Can you help me? Listen and repeat, please. My name is Maria. My address is 10 Main Street. My apartment number is 3B. Perfect. Let's continue, and on this section over here, now you're going to say, and I'm going to repeat, and we're synchronized. Ready? Excuse me, class, can you help me? You practice, and I repeat. My name is David. My address is 9 River Street. My phone number is 9412238. And make sure that you complete your information in your notebook. Yes, the write your write about yourself in your journal. My name is your information. Yes, in your notebook, please. Yes. And the chapter summary for this is we're taking a look at the questions from I'm from Mexico, the answer, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, so, we usually have three same ones. What is your, and that works for name, address, and telephone number. What is your name? What is your address? What is your telephone number? And the answer is the same. My name, my address, my telephone number is Tan Tan. Yes. And the only one different is where are you from? I'm from Colima. Yes. And uh, make sure that you also do focus on the correct um, uh, greetings or saying hi to people. Remember down here? Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. My name is Oscar. I'm Juan. 
I'm Oscar. Oh, my name is Juan. You know, remember, we, we, we always do the opposite for general practice, yes? So that was it for the first section. Esa fue la primera parte de la clase que incluye el, el alphabet, numbers, um, vocabulary, name, address, telephone number, and from, and then the questions, you know, how to ask the four questions. And remember contractions, what is, what's. And also in my um, English training, we include, excuse me, pardon me, I'm sorry. So make sure que aquí apliquen, depende como les preguntan, no? And right here is the, the review of everything, the chapter summary that we're taking a look at so far. And to start off, the second chapter, next video, um, which I already published, uh, where is it? It's focusing on to be locations and subject pronouns. For example, where is um, the lighter? Where is uh, the pen? Where is the stove? You know, one item. We're talking about singular items. And we're going to be focusing on classroom objects. Then we continue to rooms and, and at home. And then we're going to continue to city, cities and national, nationalities and places around town. So right now, this is it. Make sure that you do focus uh, for this vocabulary for the next class, yes? Excuse me, class. Can you please help me? Please listen and no repeat. My name is Oscar and I'm going to present vocabulary preview. Pen. Pencil, book, desk, computer, bank, supermarket, post office, restaurant, library, living room, dining room, kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. Excuse me, class, can you please help me? Listen and repeat. Pen, pencil, book, desk, computer, bank, supermarket, post office, restaurant, library, library, living room, Dining room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom. Excuse me, class, can you help me? Pardon me, class, would you help me? You practice and I'm going to listen, yes? Library, very good. Living room, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you. And make sure you do the homework, la tarea. Esta fue la parte que les dejé como tarea. Escogerán un actor, actress, athlete, or the president of your country. And um, also complete the information of the interview, yes, for the famous person. And this is the materials that you need to know for um, the where is it, the next class. Yes, so make sure that you practice both vocabularies, well, three vocabularies. We have the, the first one for personal information. We have um, the chapter two for the subjects and you know, rooms at homes and places right here. And the classroom, yes. Let me present this, yes? Excuse me, class. Can you help me? Please listen. I'm going to present vocabulary for class material. Five, four, three, two, one. Good afternoon, class. My name is Oscar. I'm going to be your teacher today. I'm going to present class material vocabulary. Excuse me, class. Can you help me? What's piso? What's piso in English? Floor? Thank you. Um, excuse me, class. Can you help me? Please listen and please. No repeat. Pen. 
book, notebook, pencil, bookshelf, globe, map, teacher, <laughs> board, wall, bulletin board, clock, computer, table, chair, ruler, desk, and dictionary. Excuse me class, can you help me? Please listen and repeat. Pen, book, pencil, notebook, bookshelf, globe, map, teacher, board, wall, bulletin board, clock, computer, table, chair, ruler, desk. Excuse me class, can you help me? You practice now and I listen. Bulletin board, make sure. Mm -hmm. Great, perfect. So make sure you practice this vocabulary, yes. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you, class. Bye bye.